training on how to be a tire based technician. In this module, you go learn how to fix a flat tire. When fixing a flat tire, there are seven crucial steps one must follow. Step one is to use free bulk and a scraper and prep the inner liner. The step two is to use a carbide cutter to remove all the damage in the EV channel. Step three is to select the proper repair unit. In this case, we're going to be using a two-piece repair unit. Step four is to fill the EV channel with the rubber stem using the rubber stem and a full wire. Step five is to buff the inner liner using a buffer and a low-speed buff tool. Step six is to apply the vulcanizing cement to the buff area. Step seven is to apply the patch by using the stitches to remove all air bubbles and applying the inner liner sealer to protect the repair that you just made. Hi, welcome back to Tire Bay Solid Training. In this module, we're going to learn and talk about fixing a flat tire. Go ahead and pause the video here so that you can take the module pretest. Now that you've taken your pretest, let's go ahead and fix this tire. And guys, don't forget, safety comes first. Don't forget your safety glasses and your gloves. Some of the tools that are going to be used today are vice grips, carbide cutters, a buffing wheel, a scraper, a stitcher, a brass brush, flexible knife, a probe, a pull wire, here we have our fillers, our patch, our pre-buff, our vulcanizing cement, our repair sealant, low speed buffer, and lastly our shop vac. This tire is going to be a good candidate for a flat repair today. First, you want to make sure that this tire has more than two 30 seconds tread left on it. Second, you also want to make sure that you never attempt to fix an injury that's in the shoulder of the tire. You always want to make sure that the injury is within the crown of the tire, which is the center portion right here. Now we're going to go ahead and repair this tire. First thing first is you got to remove the object that has punctured the tire. Be sure to remo remove it slowly and not too abruptly to damage the tire furthermore. Once you've removed the object that punctured the tire, go ahead and use the pre buff spray and the scraper and scrape out the inner liner. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and fix the tire now. This is the object that broke through the tread of the tire. We're going to start with first removing this object. Be sure to remove it slowly and not to damage any cords on its way out. Once that's completed, go ahead and use the pre-buff and the scraper tool to scrape out the inner liner. Repeat has needed. All this process is doing is removing any contaminants that may be on the outside of the tire or the inside of the tire. Next we're going to take our probe and we're going to insert it in the injury channel. This will tell us the angle of penetration. Seems like our injury is pretty straightforward. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and get our, our carbide cutter and low speed drill ready so we can drill through 
the easy channel. This will help remove any contaminants or any debris that may be in the injury channel. We're going to go three times on the inside and three times on the outside. And now three times on the inside. Once that's complete, we're going to use our brass br brush and clean out the tire. Go ahead and use the rubber cement and the probe. Put some cement on the probe itself and place that within the channel we just drilled through. What this does, it, it creates a barrier between the inner cords and any moisture or water that could rust it out. We're going to get our filler ready. This is the filler we're going to be using today. This is the appropriate size to the carbide bit that we just used. The blue section is a contact patch. You want to never touch this contact patch. Using the, the pull through wire, go ahead and string it on the blackened portion of it. We're going to again use our blue cement and put just a tiny bit on the filler. Go ahead and remove the probe. Insert the pull through wire first and pull the filler till it is halfway between the tire. Once that's completed, you're going to use your butter knife and cut off the remaining filler. Now we can go ahead and use a paper towel and clean off the extra glue. Next step is to take our patch and mark where we're going to be buffing the area. Go ahead and lay the patch down over the filler and draw a 4x4 box around it. Go ahead and get your buffer and low speed buffing tool ready. And going side to side and up and down, slowly buffing the area till it's nice and even. And it's going to look a little bit velvet like. Let's begin. never want to stay in one place too long because you could burn through the cord. If any cord material is visible while buffing the tire down, the tire must be discarded. And always remember, let the tool do all the work. Just keep a nice steady rhythm and the tool will do the rest for you.
actually going to take our brass brush again and clean out the area. The area should look nice and even and feel a little bit like velvet. Go ahead and take your contact cement again and put a nice even layer down on the buffed area. The reason why you want to move in circles is because you get the glue in all the nooks and crannies off the patch. This will help the patch stick to the inner of the tire. Next you're going to get a patch ready. To apply this patch you got to first break the patch seal and remove the backing material like so. You never want to touch the blue part of the patch directly. This could contaminate the patch and not make a proper seal. One tip is to leave a small area so you can hold the patch and apply it roughly in the middle. Work your way from the middle out, removing all the air bubbles. Using the stitching tool, go ahead and stitch the patch on the tire. Start from the middle and work yourself outwards. Make sure to get all four corners and all the edges to make sure it sticks securely. Next we're going to take our repair sealant and seal the patch that we buffed. While that dries, we're going to take our shop vac and clean out our debris. Never use a heat lamp or any light source to help speed up the dry time.